as usual. I'm trying to take us on a bit of a journey through all the different kinds of equations we've met before. Okay? So, again, don't just give me the final number. Don't just give me the final value. Can someone tell me a step for, well, for this question, the first one, it is only one step, but for all of them, I think Adam, your hand was up first. Um, minus six from both sides. Okay, great. Take away six, take away six. That'll give me k equals seven. Fantastic. Okay, so that's probably the only one where you can really just write one line. Okay, we subtract this from both sides. Great. Um, someone else give me a hand up for number two. Yeah, first step, Will. I am going to take away a number. Five is probably not the greatest choice on question two. I'm going to, I'm going to take away three. I think that would be a better choice because it will get the pronoun rule by itself on that side. So I'm going to write. 4p equals, so I took away 3. What does that leave me with on the right-hand side? Yeah, Rachel. Minus, now be careful. This is a negative number, right? So when I take away from it, it gets even more negative, right? So it's a bigger negative number. So it'll be minus 26, okay? Now I'll just wait for everyone's attention because some of you guys are being exceptionally rude at the moment. And honestly, like I did prepare this... Um, but we don't have to play it. Like, there's no reason we have to. There's nothing forcing us. So I'll just wait for everyone to be ready. That's better. Thank you. Okay, now, when we have a look at this, what's our next step? Okay, so where did 23 come from? Just to confirm. I've got minus 23 on the right-hand side, right? But then, the thing I here is subtracted 3 from both sides. There was a step I didn't write down, which was if you do that to the right hand side, you're doing this, subtracted 3, right? Oh, oh, yeah, now, yeah, minus yeah. hence that, okay? Uh, minus 20 would be a common answer, right? Because it looks like, oh, it gets smaller, but because it's negative, it actually gets more and more negative, okay? Next step. I should divide both sides by 4. Now, when you do that, 26 doesn't go evenly into 4s. It's not a multiple of 4. So what would you do for this next step? Yeah, Jordan. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so you've gone straight to the decimal. Your calculator will tell you that. Alternatively, I will write that down in a second. Alternatively, I could have just worked with this and wrote a simpler equivalent fraction, right? What would I cancel from the top and bottom? Yeah, I'll take a 2 out of here, which leaves me with 13. And then I take a 2 out of here, which leaves me with 2. two. So minus 13 over 2, that would be fine. Or minus 6.5 or minus 6.5, they're all the same answer. Okay? Good. Let's move on to 3. You've got x's on both sides, so what are you going to do first? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to take this x away so that I have all the x's in one spot. That leaves me with 2x plus 4 equals 6. Okay? Now that I've got the x's in one spot, what would be my next logical step? Yeah, Daniel. Okay, get all the numbers also in one spot. So I get 2x, and that leaves me with a 2. Last step, someone else? Someone else has said anything? Yeah, Morgan. Division, fantastic, which gives me 1. Okay, right. Last one, you've got some brackets. Remember, you had a choice of what you can do where you've got brackets, one of two things. What do you think is the best option here? Yeah, Daniel. Okay, I can simplify this. What's the name of the particular kind of simplifying I do when it's with brackets? Tendo. Expanding. expanding, very good. Okay, so I'm going to expand them. Adam, do you want to help me out in expanding this line? You've got 3r minus 3 is equal to 2r plus 8. Fantastic. Okay, as we um, write that down, I just want to draw everyone's attention because that's perfect to that minus 3 and the plus 18, right? A really common error is to say, oh, cool, I'll multiply by 3. We just do it to the first one and we forget to do it one as well. So over here, a lot of people two up nine, right? Just sort of like get rid of the brackets. But the two does multiply by the nine as well, which is 18 from, okay? Now that we're in this, I think we can sort of see what we need to do, right? You've got two R over here, right? So I'm going to subtract it from both sides, which leaves me with how many R's on this? Um, you be starting to get really familiar with this now. I'm not only going to subtract two r from both sides. I'm also get rid of which leaves me with plus three. Twenty one. Twenty one. That's it. 
Okay, so you can see as you're more comfortable and quicker with these, you can start to do more than one step at a time because we're doing much the same thing. 